All right, everyone, welcome back. Uh, we are, or thank you for joining us. This is Tom Knockley. Uh, we are diving back into Rustic Waters. This is a first, uh, first mod pack, or first time playing this mod pack. Um, last video, we started out just exploring our little base and setting some things up, trying to figure out some of these things. Can't get these apples still, uh, which bothers me. But uh, I did find a little bit more out regarding this little uh, bonsai, uh, hopping bonsai pot. So I'm actually going to break it real quick and see, hopefully I get everything back good. Um, interestingly enough, this requires a chest under it. And uh, I want to thank um, oh, one of the YouTube videos showed me this. I'm very bad with remembering names, by the way. Um, all right, so we're actually going to, uh, since it is a one by one and I thought it was going to grow into a tree, we're going to put the hopping bonsai pot there and we are going to just confirm that this gives us what we were looking for. All right, so the tree's going to grow and the theory is that once it's done, it's going to drop all of its loot into that chest right there. Because if this is the case, then I'd like for us to uh, do this with an oak tree as well. I don't know if it would work the same way with the Pam. Well, I guess that looks quite like the Pam's. Uh, let's do sapling. It was the spiderweb sapling. Okay, that is a Pam's tree. So if we put an apple sapling in the pan's tree it should give us the yeah let's do that that way we can go ahead and get the oh did i eat all the apples i ate all the apples i'm so dumb but cool thing with this is that trees usually give some apples as well i'll just get three there um i want to make sure that these are out of my hands though If you're curious why I did that uh, last video, we found out that if we had those shears in our hand when we felled a tree, uh, it would chop down the entire tree and all of the leaves. It wouldn't yield any sort of saplings or apples. It would uh, literally just be um, leaves that are put in our hand. Hence why I have 61 uh, oak leaves in my in my inventory. All right, we got some fish that are just floating out about there. I actually really like the underwater um, aquatic uh, life out there. When we saw some of those squid, and there was that one squid that had, squid that had like some really angry red uh, characteristics. So hopefully we don't. Hopefully he's not aggressive, or if he is a aggressive we don't encounter him <laughs> but uh just knowing uh vanilla minecraft i don't really know aside from the guardians um what the aggressive mobs underwater will be so it'll be brand new to brand new to me maybe brand new to you as well i don't know you may have already played this mod pack before but i'm trying to get <gasps> my penguin Okay, he floats. I worry about you. Chilly Willy. I wonder... He must serve a purpose for <laughs> some way. Because right now I haven't found anything that he does. Like, he's just like... He's like that roommate that just kind of like... Sits off to the side and judges you for everything that you do. I know. I just did that. You're a copycat. We need one more apple.
there goes my axe. So let's go ahead and come over here and create a new one. Create a stone one this time. All right, I'll have to search into that one next. All right, there's my next apple. We've got enough to do what we need to do. We've got that. We got the bonsai pot. We're probably going to need. I wonder. Or I hope you can craft dirt here. Uh, we are going to need a chest, but we can't do it here. We have to do it with this. Okay, we are trucking along with that. Let me grab one of these dirts over here and we will I'll just get, oh, okay. I was like, what on earth did just happened? Pop the apple bonsai in there. Heck yeah, boy. All right, we got some string down there, and hopefully soon we'll get some apples because your boy is uh, <laughs> not looking too well in regards to food. Let me see if I can... next let's check in our quest book quest introduction this is vine management so we have to get 64 vines and we get a brew and some money um, money we will use to the Jill trades um, but I don't know what I don't know what I would buy yet I'll probably save it for a rainy day. All right, vines. Using the work table, you can strip and weave leaves together to create vines. You can then twist the process, twist and process the vines into string to be used for other recipes. So that's pretty cool. We've got the shears. So if we create vines, I'd just like to uh, make the vines, like hang them from somewhere, so that way we just we can get infinite vines. Uh, let's go ahead and I have a feeling leaves might have something to do with it and I was correct so six leaves will get us four vines we have to get 64 vines so we are probably did I do that right any artisan's knife yep Oh, I need purified water for this. Is that purified water good? Really? <laughs> this is going to... This might take a while, kids. And I only get one bucket, so... Yeah. Make 
make the most out of that little bit of charcoal. Get another apple. Ooh, got another apple sapling in there. How much? A hundred and B. I'm just going to let that. Oh, why? I guess I can go ahead and take them out now. All right, we got 40. That's not too bad. We need 64, so what we can do is get our shears in and fell this tree, and then we will get more leaves. We'll take these leaves as well. There we go. We got it. So we got our Bully's Brew, which will give us water breathing haste and night vision. That will help when we um, go underwater and 5 yell. So we get some money and our next thing is straining. But let's check some of these other ones. Furry friends, now that you are setting up a strainer and sluice operation, so we may not be able to. Uh, so we're going to need a cauldron. And I have a feeling that a cauldron is going to require iron, and that's going to require us to sift through stuff. Yeah, I've used strainers before. First time I used strainers was uh, we completed Bully's Brews. Oh, that might have been the reward that we got. Okay. Okay, so we can't get we can't do furry friends yet. Bed bugs, uh, six stone. Uh, we've got cobble around here somewhere. Let's just go ahead and cook six of them up. Who knows? I got my money. Actually, let me put my money in the in my chest. I will die. I will lose it, and uh, I will be very upset when that happens. Okay, so we got stone cooking up. When you die, you don't lose the items in your inventory. Instead, all armor tools, etc., will lose 60% of their max durability. Any RF-powered items, such as jetpacks or inventory chargers, will lose 80% of their charge. Wow. Make sure you're to keep your armor and tools good, in good shape. Dying when they are already below 60% may result in them breaking. And we get some opacium when we complete this one. Keeping warm. The ocean is dark, frigid, dangerous place. Expectedly, these cold waters will require you to actively work to maintain your body temperature. Uh, this will become easier late when you make and make machines that will regulate the climate in your base, but you will always want to be prepared to, when you venture out into the depths. Your UI will give you hints on the status of your temperature. Keep a close eye on the cold or hot symbols. Okay, let's make a campfire. I want to remain nice and toasty. So this is going to be three cobble and it looks like actual log wood in there. 
And I think we've got all of that. Does it, yeah, it does have to be in the workshop. All right, we got a campfire. I don't know how big it's going to be, but we'll place it right there. And I think we get a flint and steel, so hopefully that shows us how to. All right, it's lit. Ah, yes, very well. Ooh. It is very warm, but do not get too close to it because you will light yourself on fire. All right, we got a few Bully's Brews. Let's pop those in our chest here along with that because I don't want to accidentally set things off. Some of our blocks up here. We've got vines. Let me go ahead and... Uh, anything this way so I don't feel as bad covering that up okay we'll see these grow hopefully I kind of want to name this chili willy to something different I want to name him the Peppa Penguin. Alright, it is going to be very, very tough to keep up with your food in this game, it looks like. Um, can somebody in the comment section let me know why I can't get these apples? It says I'm supposed to... It says they are with an axe, but if I remember Pam's harvest craft all you have to do is right click on them and they yielded the apple i don't think that chopping them chopping that you know what they're just decoration right now so let's try it All right, I was wrong. Chopping them off of the tree is the right way to go, apparently. <laughs> but uh, that's full grown. That's full grown as. That's. Okay. So it looks like the cyclic ones will be the ones that will give me regrowth while on a tree. Nom nom on those. Alright, we've completed that quest. Got that. Completed this one. I got my opacium. Nutrition and the innkeeper. All right, eating a healthy diet will give you positive stats. And access your nutrition panel via a button on your inventory GUI. Percentage of each food group are not listed, are listed on most food items. There are no negative stats, status effects for eating poorly, but you may get love handles. That's a joke, not status effect. Do not blow up my issue tracker. <laughs> that's funny um all right so uh if we stay nutritious we will get some night vision and that might be what we dropped in with because we had night vision but then we lost it when we probably lost our nutrition and staying what in the crap 
was that? Guys, I think Chili Willy went. Oh, damn. Nope, not yet. <laughs> I think we just lost Chili Willy. Um, rest in peace, my penguiny friend. Um, you will be missed. I wonder if it was the campfire that did it. Uh, that scared the one scared the crap out of me too. Bothers me because he was my best friend in here. Um, I kind of want to go into those village, but I'm not gonna do it yet. I can't. I need uh, I need good breathing gear. All right, healthy diet. So we've got this right here, which lets us know nutrition values, and it looks like we are 47% in fruit. I wonder if... Let me see. That's my... That brings up my recipes for my crafting grids. Alright, what is that quest? I have to create a juicer. Alright, stone and a stone pressure plate. How much was this? Boom. We got some nutrition. We'll get Opacium, which is the second one that we got. I don't know what it's used for, but we'll find out shortly. All right. The Hearthstone Lynx, which very reminiscent of uh, um, World of Warcraft. The Hearthstone links you to your spawn point bed. It must be used sparingly as it has a 30-minute cooldown. It, can also, it also cannot be used in a pinch as you must channel the cast for eight seconds before you are teleported. You must shift-click your, on your bed to set your health point. So we're going to create a hearthstone. No copyright infringement there at all. All right, that'll be six stone. I am going to need more cobble. How do I create cobble? I don't know any of those <laughs> except for crafting and nothing here. All right. Uh, we might not be able to get the hearthstone quite yet. So I think we're stuck there. Uh, shard copy. It's looking for us to get the magma shard. Let's check the magma shard. A block of charcoal. I think we can do that. You burn the block of charcoal and you get the magma shard. Okay. That sounds... easy enough. Chilly Willy, I am burning this in your honor. To my friend, Chilly Willy, wherever you may be, I hope you found peace. I hope. Wait, where did it go? Why, why didn't that burn?
Well, it's going to burn one way or the other now. Hopefully. Holy crap. That is... block of charcoal except any block of charcoal and that's what I just made burn time 1600 ticks I'm gonna need a pickaxe <clears throat> excuse me all right that fire was cute there but <laughs> it's starting to not be cute <laughs> All right, there's my pickaxe. Getting an upgrade, thank you. Maybe the quest book, all right. To be able to craft more or undergarments to regulate your temperature. You, you, this may not always be enough, though. Goo packs, hot, cold resistance potions. This can be attained by tossing a block of charcoal into the fire on the ground. Okay, so we actually have to light the fire. And then toss charcoal into it. Oops. Well, that... Flint and steel is no more. <laughs> All right. That fire's for you, Chili Willy. Good, got my apples. I should probably make stuff in the juicer from here on out. And my fire is no more. Which is good because that was not fun getting burned every second. Alright, so my fire is literally not more. Or no more. Alright. No tool. Let's pick those apples. Juice these. Let's see what we use. All right, make slushies. I guess we need two of the fruit. Okay. gives us anything per se we're getting some good string though all right back to our quest book we need four magma shards not just one four now and we don't have a flint and steel what on earth are we gonna do Not buy flint and steel there. You know what? Let's search flint. How can we make flint? All right, I think we are going to have to dive into the strain power. So it looks like we are getting a fabric mesh. Fabric mesh is used in both water strainers and the sluice machine. Water strainers gather resources from the ocean water. Uh, they are submerged in. That's pretty cool. This Luis allows you to save ores and other resources from sand, gravel, and other materials you gather. Okay, that'll be good. So, we need to get a fabric mesh. So, it looks like string and then woven cotton, which is pretty much just four string. So, we're going to need four... 
four, eight, twelve, sixteen, uh, twenty-one string, and we've got seventeen in there. So we'll let that go for a little bit more. We're at a standstill there for a bit. We are not able to get that. Uh, hearthstone. We don't have enough stone for that. Something from nothing. So again, we can't make a fabric mesh. Something from nothing. Goo pack heat. I wonder what this does. Oh, that was cool. You could uh, click on it. So we're going to need how many goo packs? 16. And it requires one magma shard. And I don't have magma shards. <laughs> I only have two. Uh, and I need four. All right. So we're at a little bit of a standstill right now. What does this opium do? That makes my hearthstone. I'm going to pop that bad boy in here. Where are, you know what? I think this is a good place to end this video. We're gonna let this run for a little bit offline. Um, guys, thank you for joining me today. Uh, there are some, there are a few things that I am still trying to figure out in this. These apples, this apple progression actually looks pretty cool. Um, still figuring out a few things within this mod pack. Uh, if you uh, have ever played this, um, please feel free to text your comments say you know what an idiot i am sometimes <laughs> but uh yeah leave leave some helpful tips at some point <laughs> um like comment subscribe if you like what i'm putting out and i will chat with you all chat with you all later thanks bye